Welcome back to Out of Left Field. Rohan Murphy's motivational speech will move you, and for one lucky person in the audience, it will literally move them when he takes them down to the floor, just like he used to do back in his wrestling days, when he was still gaining confidence and adjusting to living life with no legs. Rohan Murphy is putting in work and trying to accomplish his latest goals in life, being the best motivational speaker he can be, and... My ultimate goal is to speak at school in every state. Right now I'm in 42 states. I tell people all the time, this is my dream job. I love what I do for a living. There's nothing better than going to a school and being able to motivate a 10 or 13 year old kid to get the most out of life. I mean, that's what life's all about. It's all about perspective. And I think by going to schools, I give uh, young people and even some adults a different perspective on life as well. While his words are powerful, there seems to be a certain moment when you can almost feel a collective shift in perspective in the room during his presentation. Do you notice a shift in the energy in the room with the first time like today when you jumped up on the on the table and started like moving around or doing the handstands? Definitely, definitely. Definitely, uh, it definitely uh, loosens the audience up, I would say, yeah. and uh, it just gives them something to uh, really latch on to. Yeah, because it's hard to really keep a audience's attention with just being in a stationary position and just speaking, you know what I mean? Then there's the way the former NCAA Division I wrestler ends his speeches. What impressed you the most about his story? I would say definitely the wrestling aspect. I mean, you saw he put me, he put me, <laughs> he took me down, right? Uh, being able to, um, do a sport with uh, against people that have legs, and and learn how to use his uh, use not having legs to his advantage, and you know working out these ways with his head and putting him down. That's really interesting to me. What do you hope people take away from this story? I think that the main thing is that people think that uh, people with disabilities they they can't do certain things. Or uh, even a row mentioned about how people would be like, oh, that's terrible that he doesn't have legs, but really they can do just as much as we can and Rose's probably done more than I, I can do in my life. So it's really just about, uh, I say it's not a disability, it's an ability. Some people feel that there's nothing bad about being just good at something. Comfort zones are comforting. Rohan Murphy is not one of those people. He always aims to be great. Murphy was born with a birth defect, and at the age of four, he had both of his legs amputated. One of his early goals in life was to play sports, but in grade school, it seemed like that dream would never come true. But then a middle school physical education teacher encouraged him to join the wrestling team. And I was so afraid. I was terrified that maybe someone was make fun of me, maybe even bully me once again because I was so different. But something that practice happened, which amazed me, I'll never forget, something amazing happened. All my new teammates, all my new teammates, every single one of them came up to me, one by one. They shook my hand, they looked me in the eyes, and they said to me, Ro, it's good to have me around some team. We're going to have a great season. And for the very first time in my life, for the very first time in my life, outside of my own family, I felt acceptance. I felt that, felt that I belonged somewhere. Murphy went 2-13 and 13 in his first wrestling season. The next year he went 25-6 and six and won the Most Improved Wrestler Award at his school. That was good, but Murphy wasn't happy. He wanted the MVP award. You know, I'm very grateful that all my coaches throughout my wrestling career pushed me. They never took it easy on me. Okay. It would, would have been easy for them to say, oh, this guy doesn't have legs, let me just step back a little bit, let me just take it easy on him. But they never took it easy on me, and I think that's what really helped me become successful, not only in wrestling, but in life as well. To go from good to great, Murphy's high school wrestling coach suggested he attend some summer wrestling camps. Murphy ended up picking a 28-day intensive wrestling camp, and one of his counselors there was named Brock Lesnar. Lesnar, a former college wrestling national champion, WWE champion, and UFC heavyweight champion, had a challenge for Murphy. He asked Murphy to walk 100 yards, end zone to end zone, on a football field in a handstand stand and then do a pyramid of 10 push-ups and then come back 100 yards in the handstand. It wasn't easy and Murphy fell a few times. He made it to the 50-yard line and Lesnar told him he could stop. Murphy said no and he told Lesnar, when I start something, I'm going to finish it. And he did. As a senior in high school, Murphy improved his wrestling record to 30-2 and two and won an individual league championship and finished second in his county. Now an already confident Murphy had an all-new perspective and he was ready to check off more things on his list of life goals, attend a big university, and live there by himself. He accomplished these goals at Penn State. When it comes to trial and error, there is no book on how to live life without legs, you know? I've always had to use just that, trial and error on everyday ac activities, whether it's getting my chair in my vehicle, going grocery shopping, trying to figure out 
how to do different things around my home, just a lot of trial and error. And thankfully, being very persistent, I've always been able to really figure out how to do different things. Because everything that I do is just different compared yeah. to the average person. And I'm fine with that. It just takes me a little bit longer to figure out how to do certain things. But once I figure it out, then I'm good for the rest of my life. Murphy asked Penn State's wrestling coach to be part of the team, and when the coach asked how he can wrestle with no legs, Murphy showed him by taking him down right there in his office. That's how he earned himself a tryout and then a spot on an NCAA Division I wrestling team. Basic strategy was trying to hit a low level single leg. That was my goal to move from neutral. I was always very confident, very aggressive. I wanted to put up points when I, I competed. I didn't want people to think of me as a boring wrestler, so I wanted to be exciting. I wanted to score points. and. With that, I was always pretty aggressive, to say the least. How do coaches approach that when you sit, or did they not know that, or when you would want to add some flash to maybe what you're doing out there? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't think my coaches mind it. Uh, <laughs> as I think, long as it, yeah, yeah. As long as it worked. Exactly. I know they always just appreciated my attitude that I never took my disability and tried to use it as an excuse that I just want to be successful like any other wrestler. Just like in high school, Murphy had a pretty special first practice with the Nittany Lions. At that first training session, Murphy watched his teammates run up Tussie Mountain. I said to myself, if I'm going to the Penn State wrestling team, if I'm going to be successful in not only collegiate wrestling, but in life as well, I can never, ever use this as an excuse. I can never tell someone, I can't do this workout because I don't have legs. So after my teammates something held their feet, I followed my teammates. I followed them on my hands. Through the dirt, through the grass, through the gravel. It took me about an hour and a half to get up top of the hill. About an hour and a half. But I did it. And I finished it. Why? No excuses. Murphy went on to graduate from Penn State, and after his wrestling career, he started powerlifting and once again pushed himself to be great. Murphy set a national record in the junior division at the 2006 Paralympic World Championships, where he won a bronze medal. Wow, right? Murphy really has had a pretty good life. Strike that, a great life. And he plans to continue sharing his strategies and his story with others. I want them to take away that they have to help their individuals with disabilities find their purpose in life. Find something that they want to be great at in life, find something that they have a passion for and that they want to pursue for the rest of their lives. It seems like that for anybody. It seems like your message is find your passion and stick with that and then, then that's the way to happiness and also to be successful. Yeah, without a doubt. Like I said before, it all starts with a purpose in life. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? What do you want to strive to be great at? What do you want to really accomplish with your life? What's your purpose in life going to be? 